Hello, I'm Dr. Steven from OutClick Magazine. The Galleria at Fort Lauderdale, recognized as Broward County's premier shopping destination, has announced the lineup of honorees for its 14th annual Men of Style Challenge. For 2020, the event will take place virtually from October 7th through December 3rd. You will be able to cast your vote virtually. Votes are $25 each with 100% of the proceeds benefiting the 11 participating charities. The challenge culminates at 5 p.m. on December 3rd, 2020, during a virtual event presentation to announce the leading man of style based on monetary votes. The winning man of style will receive an additional financial contribution from various sponsors for his designated charity. Go to www.galleriamall-fl.com to vote for your favorite guy from this year's list of men of style. Today we welcome David Kofsky to the program. David, welcome. Welcome. Glad to be here. Thank you so much for joining us today on the 2020 Men of Style. The first Thank question you. we ask for you and everyone is, what nonprofit did you select to work with and why did you select them? Well, first of all, um, I'm working with the Art and Culture Center of Hollywood. And the reason why I started there was as I met a gentleman who was on the board of directors about 20 years ago and asked me to get involved. And from that point on, I've been very, very involved. I never got on the board. I let my daughter do that. And she became the chairperson for the last three years. But through that, with my donations and trying to help the Art and Cultural Center uh, for the last 20 years, it, I've done it because it is helping children all the time. So, I got very involved with it. I've been doing it now for 20 years and I still enjoy it. And uh, the Art and Culture Center is, is still growing. Um, right now it takes care of about 2,000 children for an education program yearly. Uh, most of them pay less than uh, $4 a visit. They have three campuses now. The main one is um, around the Young Circle. Um, one of their campuses is right across the street. Um, they also have a theater with 500 seats, which they use, and that's also very nearby. And in 2021, they, they are starting an ambitious program to build another center with at least 5,000 square feet, which will be going up next year. So I'm very excited about that. And I believe with the center growing, there'll be more room for the kids to get more education and learn about the visual arts. Hmm. Very good. We know there's a lot of great things going on there. Our second question for everyone is what motivates you to give back to the community? Well, my motivation has been ever since I was a young kid, uh, people has always, have always helped me. Um, I didn't come from a uh, well-to-do family and I had to work very hard to get where I was. And I always feel that if you earn money, uh, there's always a place in the community where you can give back and help others. Um, I've been very fortunate. My family has been very fortunate. And I have done over my whole lifetime, I have decided to give back to people in need, especially charities. So I've been doing that for the last 40 years. Very good, we appreciate that. Uh, our third question for everyone is, what is your number one strength and how does it how does it impact what you do professionally and in support of the community? I believe my main strength is my, communi my communication skills. I have been able to do it professionally. I'm a forensic accountant. I have to speak to people all the time. And I think that has gone over into what I decided to do in charity. Um, I have a voice. I like to use it and I like to get things done behind the scenes. I never like to be there in front of the scenes. So whatever I can do to promote the charities that I work with, especially the Art and Culture Center, that's my main, main uh, asset that I give. Hmm. Very good. Our fourth question is, what is one community challenge you would like to, you would love to see receive more attention and why? That's a difficult question to answer because in my community, there is a lot of need across the board for a lot of children. And it starts, you know, one of the charities is the Art and Cultural Center. 
but I don't have one main focus whatsoever. I try and help community wide. I try to mainly stick in Hollywood. I have known and lived in Hollywood for a long time. And so whatever needs I see, I try and attack those uh, areas as best I can. And mainly, like I said, in the support, not necessarily in the uh, uh, doing the work itself. Hmm. This is my favorite question to ask. What is your favorite way to kick back, relax, and decompress? And where is the best place to do it? That's an interesting question also. Um, throughout my lifetime, I've never been able to relax and sit back and kick back at all. Matter of fact, since my surgery, I believe that all my friends are worried, what am I going to do with a boot around my uh, ankle? But being married to my wife, who's been able to uh, pull work away from me and say it's now time to relax. We live very close to the beach and I'm able to kick back, go to the beach, go in the ocean, swim almost on a daily basis. So like once I cross the, the bridge onto the inner islands, I mean the outer islands, I'm very relaxed and I'm able to decompress as much as I can. Mm, very good. The last question we ask everyone is, what is one professional or personal goal that is a priority for you? I don't have a particular goal right now. I mean, I am getting to the age where I'm kind of moving away from working professionally and, and, and at the point of not retiring, but having more time to spend more time in the community and do whatever good I can help there. So that's my main goal is just transitioning from working full time to working and giving back to the community in my next life. So hmm. that's my main goal right now. Hmm. Very good. Well, David, we appreciate you being a part of the show today and getting to know more about you. And we're excited that you're part of the 2020 Men of Style. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure being on with you, Dean. Thank you so much. We look, forward, we look forward to hear more from you. Thank you. Vote for your favorite guy for the 2020 Men of Style at www.galleriamall-fl.com.